Good morning, I'm Neva Reddy Manu, and this is your morning news fix for Monday, 25th of March. In this update, Gisborne's mayor says a fatal mass brawl on Saturday night doesn't reflect the city she knows. Two people died in the altercation involving 100 people at a 21st birthday party on Lytton Road in the suburb of Elgin. Police believe it started after two people showed up uninvited. One person's been arrested. Three people remain in hospital with serious to critical injuries believed to be from stab wounds. The brawl involved gang members but wasn't a rival gang conflict. Gisborne Mayor Rahit Stoltz says it's a tragedy. I don't want people to overgeneralise. This is not what happens here every day. This is a tragedy and police are dealing with it appropriately. Backlash against the Sale GP CEO's comments that Hector's dolphins are not endangered. A sighting of the world's smallest and rarest dolphin species on the Littleton Harbour course saw the first day canned on Saturday. It prompted Sir Russell Coots to slam the red tape surrounding Sale GP, pinpointing the near $80,000 spent on what he calls 11 so-called dolphin experts. Marine scientist and professor emeritus at Otago University, Steve Dawson, says Sale GP makes quite a deal about being one with nature. You could really say holding the Sale GP races in Littleton at this time of the year is, is a bit like holding a motocross race in Kiwi habitat and no one, no one would countenance that for a moment. New Zealand Sail GP entry is sponsored by Live Ocean Foundation, set up by Peter Burling and Blair Chuk. And Chuk has contradicted other comments made by Coots. The Sail GP boss told Newstalk ZB yesterday that all the yachties involved wanted out of Littleton. But Blair Chuk says the Littleton event was proof there's a home for Sail GP in New Zealand. He says Kiwi fans came out en masse and Littleton is a beautiful place to sail. WorkSafe is hiring for some roles it disestablished months ago. The agency cut 113 roles in November. Azaria Hal reports. Last month, WorkSafe moved offices due to costs and low occupancy levels from people working from home. Five vacant cultural advisory roles, including two Pacific Partnership roles, were axed as part of the 113 cuts. But now WorkSafe's looking for two Pacific advisors. Other agencies, including MPI and the Ministry of Health, are looking at job cuts. A prediction New Zealand should look at a capital gains tax as one option for tax reform. Labour's Chris Hipkins used his State of the Nation speech to push for a debate on the topic, despite ruling out both the capital gains and wealth tax before last year's election. New Zealand Initiative Chief Economist Dr Eric Crampton says despite most countries using it, there's no overwhelming consensus for or against it. In sport, Ferrari driver Carlos Sainz has won the Australian Formula One Grand Prix in Melbourne, despite having his appendix removed this month and knowing former champion Lewis Hamilton will take a seat in 2025. Australian sale GP helmsman Tom Slingsby has questioned officials over the placing of a race marker that damaged their boat and cost them the latest event in Littleton. And com- competition leaders Wellington a 282 for nine after the opening day of the Plunkett Shield cricket decider against Northern Districts in Hamilton. I'm Neva Reti Manu and that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom.